Hey friends, today for your video, I was thinking I would read you guys a book. Um, we just got a lot of new books for our library and so I wanted to show one of them to you. And I also wanted to let you know that even though we're not having Sunday school quite yet, you and your family can still come up and use the library. If you wanna just have your parents text me or give me an email, we can set up a time to do that. And you can read some of these books with your family. So here's the first one. It is called, When God Made You. <clears throat> and it's got this beautiful, all of these colors. Okay. You, you, when God made you, God made you all shiny and new. An incredible you, a you all your own. A you, unlike anyone else, has ever known. Can you see the picture? An exclusive design, one God refined. You are perfectly crafted, one of a kind. Because when God made you, somehow God knew that the world needed someone exactly like you. You, you. God thinks about you. God was thinking of you long before your debut. From the beginning, amid history and time, you, little one, never left God's mind. Isn't that amazing? It says, can you see the picture? It says, God imagined your eyes, your head shape and size, and knew what you'd look like when you felt surprised. God pictured your nose and all of your toes, the sound of your voice, God had it composed. The lines on your hands, the hair, every strand. God knew every detail like it was all planned. Here's the picture for this. Can you see? It says, out of billions of faces, from cultures, all races, people God made from all different places. God knew your name. Your picture is framed. God's family without you would not be the same. Here's this one. Look at all these different people. It says, because when God made you, this much is true. The world got to meet who God already knew. Isn't that amazing? God knew you even before you were born. Here's this one. Can you see? says, you, you, when God sees you, God delights in what is and sees only what's true. That you, yes, you, in all of your glory, bring color and rhythm and rhyme to God's story. Hmm, I wonder what she's doing to help this person. What do you think? It says, here's the picture again. See here? says, so be you, fully you, a show-stopping review. Live your life in full color, every tint, every hue. Discover, explore, have faith, but love more. And learn and relearn all that God made for you. Use your talents and passions, those gifts that God fashioned. Think up ideas and then put them into action. What kind of talent does it look like this girl has? Maybe art? Maybe she's sharing that talent with someone else. It says, Because God loves you creating, your true self displaying, when light on the inside through art is portraying, when you make believe the stories conceived, the heroics, the magic, those tricks up your sleeve. Wow, can you see what she's drawing on the sidewalk? That's beautiful. When you dance alone, spinning like a cyclone, being whoever, whatever, in a world all your own. Look at all those colors. She's being so creative, just the way God made her. It says, God smiles, and here's why. The spark of your eye, a familiar reflection, shines bright from inside. Wow, she's made a beautiful picture and everyone is enjoying it. Isn't that neat? 
Because when God made you and the world ood and odd, in heaven they called you the image of God. Did you know the Bible says that? That we were made in God's image. And God is creative, so we can be creative. We learned about that in one of our videos, didn't we? It says, you, you. When God dreams about you, God dreams about all that in you will be true. That you, God's you, will be hopeful and kind, a giver who lives with all heart, soul, and mind. Do y'all remember that verse where Jesus is asked, what's the greatest commandment? And he says, love God with all your heart and your soul and your mind and your strength. That's what this book is reminding us of, to love God with everything. Wow, it says, a dreamer who dreams in big and small themes, one who keeps dreaming in journeys upstream. You see all these beautiful colors and people see it and they're so surprised. It says, a mover, a shaker, a lover of nature. <laughs> Look, it's like she's created out of her beautiful art, this bird, kind of like in her imagination. It says, a builder of bridges, you, the peacemaker. You know, the Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers. Jesus says that, that we should try to bring about peace in the world. It says, a you who views others as sisters and brothers and lives by three words, love one another. Wow. You know, that seems like such a simple thing, but we have to work at it every day, don't we? To love one another. It says, a confident you, strong and brave too. I wonder who this is with her riding the bird. What do you think? You belong, you being you is God's dream come true. I know some of you guys have heard of Mr. Rogers or maybe you've seen the movie and he would always say that you make me happy by just being you. And I think God thinks the same thing that Yes, he wants us to become better people, but God already loves us just the way we are. It says, because when God made you, all of heaven was beaming. Do you see the little rabbit? And it looks like a frog. They're looking up. And what do they see? The shadow. Well, we can see the shadow, but they're seeing that big bird that the little girl is riding, right? It says, over you, God was smiling and already dreaming. Oh, look at that. The bird that she was imagining that she had drawn and had come to life is actually just on the chair that she's sitting on. But she has an amazing imagination. She's so creative, just like you guys are. You all have different talents and abilities that God has given you, and we can use them to glorify God and to serve other people. So that is the end of this book is called when god made you so i hope it helps you remember that god made you in god's image god loves you so so much and we can use our creativity to love god and to love other people so again remember if you and your family want to come up here and check out some books um just let me know you can comment on the video or you can text me or email me and we'll set up a time to do that so you can read some of these books too. I hope you guys are having a great week. Maybe you're going back to school this week or next week. And I'm praying for you guys. I love you so much. Bye-bye.